Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are once again working on our full Fallout cosplay, and I did the shin guards last time. You see them in the background over there. All I really have left to do is the knee and thigh pads, uh, and then the belt and I have built the full costume. Now once I've done that I'm probably gonna do a separate video on weathering that uh, jumpsuit that you see me wear and I also have a pit boy that I'm gonna age and dirty up and I'll probably put that along with that aging the the onesie coverall thing. Uh, so today we are going to build the thigh plate and the knee plate for our sturdy metal armor from Fallout 4. Um, templates for all this stuff down in the description. Let's get to building. found some reference images in a Google search and some in-game screenshots that I took. Fairly simple plate with a pouch on top. I'm using some 6mm What the Foam from Cosplay Apprentice for this because it is much more sturdy than regular EVA foam. Unlike the rest of the armor, it doesn't have a rotatable model in-game. The upper leg armor isn't a separate piece, it only shows the shin guards when you look at leg armor for some reason. I drew up a template for the pouch to make it all on one piece, which is a perfect fit for some 2mm what the foam sheets. Trace it onto the materials and cut it out. For assembly, you just combine the two parts. From my reference images, the pouch sits a little high on the plate. It also has a little strip that goes around it to tuck the flap into to close it. I just super glued that part on. I also went ahead and carved some rough edges on the metal parts to match the rest of the armor. For the straps that wrap around the legs, I'm using some more of the 2mm What the Foam. If you haven't tried it yet, you should. It's much denser than regular EVA and I'm confident that it will hold up to use as strapping. I cut out a 2mm wide strip for each side of my thigh armor.
The knee armor is probably the easiest part of the whole armor build. It's just a little piece of 6mm foam with a little bit of a curve to it. I used a round object to push the heated foam against to make it curve. The buckle details are a little harder to see on my reference material, so this is kind of what I came up with. It looks like the inside's a little more detailed than the outside. Then just simply put some contact cement on the parts and attach them into place. To add some detail on top of the buckles, I pull the sanding disc out a little on my rotary tool and plunge it into the foam to make a faux recessed rivet. Then like all the other parts, I rough up the edges. You should carve away from you with a utility knife. This is definitely a poor example, although I've cut myself every which way that you possibly can. Just be careful when you're using sharp objects. For the strapping on the knee armor, I am using some 1 inch elastic banding. I glue on some strips of 2mm EVA to add a little detail and help make it more secure attached to the foam. I also added a little piece on the inside to secure it even more because I like to over secure rather than it fail from lack of it. The paint process is the same for both, so I started with two layers of Plasti Dip, then mask off a couple of spots and add a light misting of silver to make that aged metal look.
Like the rest of this armor, I am using some Modern Masters Rust Effect to add real rust to my props. It is a three-step process which has a primer layer followed by a thick layer with real metal that's labeled as iron. And the last is an activator spray that starts the rust process which you see here labeled as rust. This stuff is awesome. Links for it are on my affiliates page if you want to get some for yourself and help me out at the same time time. Then the rest of the paint job is done by hand using some Plat Effects acrylic paint. This paint is flexible and has a pretty good coverage. I also add a little water to it and make some washes over areas that I need to dirty up a little bit more. Then the last step for the thigh armor is to add the velcro to the strap so that I can secure it to my leg. I like to add super glue to the sticky side to make a more secure bond to the foam. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Now, obviously I have two of them. They're just sitting back here on my table, but overall not too bad. Um, the little pouches that I made could be functional and be used as actual pockets if you go to a con or something. You know, you could stick your cell phone and whatever you need in there. Um, I'm thinking I may have to add some Velcro to the back and put it to my actual costume to get it to stay in place. If so, I'll make sure and show you guys how I attack that. Um, I really like the elastic on here. It definitely makes it a little bit more comfortable and it snugs it up pretty nice. So maybe you will try and make this thigh plate and knee plate yourselves and impress your friends with your ever growing full cosplay metal armor fallout build so much so that they become envious of your post-apocalyptic readiness. I'm, I'm getting there. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get in the pouch. Let's check out the storage space. Here you go. Let's go ahead and get in there. There you go.